Now you're telling me nothing's off limits. Uh -uh. Good morning, all. Good morning. The definition of a business is what? We uncover a problem, we seek to solve that problem, comma, at a profit. Right? So, but keeping with the season, we have to square a circle that sometimes is difficult. And that is, how do you scare an entrepreneur? Who? Anybody know what it is? Since I only have six minutes, I'll tell you. <laughs> tell them to go out and sell. Gives you the flop sweats. Brilliant technical people and other startups, even some established companies. As soon as you mention the word sell, they go to pieces. Ever seen it? Maybe it's you. Makes it tough to get out of bed in the morning. You get the sweaty palms. So our company recognizes that. That's the problem that we solve. So there's our logo for today. <coughs> then don't sell. Then don't sell. But we understand what that means to you. Here is where we have to square the circle. Because every business has to grow, that means every business has to produce revenue. The way to produce revenue is sales, and now we're right back where we started, correct? Okay. Kind of think of that as a Ghostbuster ripoff. Here's the goal of every company. You want to attract the type of customers that you desire. Right? What does that mean? To me, that means that long line at Best Buy when it's pouring out to buy an iPhone that they haven't even seen yet. Now that's attracting the type of customer that you want. But to do that, we're going to have to do this. As an entrepreneur, as a business person, to attract a loyal customer, they have to kind of share the beliefs that you have. And how are they going to share them if you don't expose those beliefs to the world? So how do you do that? How do you do it without selling? When you started your business, it was driven by some sort of passion. There was a challenge, there was a problem that screamed to you, not only do I have to solve this problem, but I have to expose it to the world, right? That's what it was. What was that passion? What was so deep in your guts that you were willing to go out there and live your life without a net? <laughs> Do you remember those days? What was that passion? That passion is going to be incorporated into a process that you all can use. And you could use the minute you leave here today. Have you ever been to a chamber meeting or a networking event? And what is the most difficult and challenging business question there is? So what exactly do you do for a living? And you hear this deafening silence, right? That awkward silence. Sometimes it's even silence on the behalf of people who have been successful for 20 years in business. You've been there? You have a quick discussion with them. They hand you the business card. You walk away and you say, now, what the hell does he do for a living? We're still not sure. I've been there. I've done that. So we're going to plug your passion into a process. And here's the process. If you're promising to tell anybody, I have an engineering background. Shh. So I want to put it into a process. I want to break it into a formula. Here's the formula. Simple? Yeah. Easy? No. We work with X, we do Y, we accomplish Z. It allows even the amateur to plug in and be able to answer that most difficult question. Let's explode this. You'll see the word specifically. Yeah, I could have got other words, but that's the one that hits the mark precisely. Who's your ideal client? That's who I want to be spending my time networking with, identifying, marketing to. If you're not an ideal client, you can't be a loyal customer. It doesn't work. What do you do specifically? And last, 
when we do business, what specifically is going to be the transformation? There's your X, there's your Y, there's your Z, there's your formula. Mark Twain said once that it takes him a couple of days to come up with a good impromptu speech. <laughs> Once you put this in your pocket, it looks impromptu, but it's prepared. I have three or four of these depending upon the audience. It actually makes it look like a million bucks. It's practice. It's a setup. Give yourself an unfair business advantage. Everyone in your organization, I don't care who they are, should know the XYZ because you never know when a business opportunity is coming up. Because I'm limited in time, meaning 11 seconds, <laughs> just want to let you know that there's two big brothers. When you have that two to three minute casual discussion, we expand on the XYZ. We square it by adding a component. I know. It was six minutes and 12 seconds in practice. <laughs> the 10 minute presentation is the XYZ cube. You add another component. You see how it builds on each other. It's modular. That's 8 to 10 minutes. And here's our testimonials. Ladies and gentlemen, your brand is your story. Your story is your brand. That's what it's about. So it's time for questions. So I will ask you one. What's your story? 